Hello, uh, a couple of things to show this week. Uh, the main thing I've been working on is the UI. Um, it doesn't really look like much yet, but uh, the back end is where I've been spending most of my time. So quest tracking, uh, completion and update log, saving and loading uh, are largely functional. Um, I've also added an options panel. It's a little hard to read right now, but uh, the function is is what I've mainly been working on. So options can be set and saved independently um, and are fully persistent. Uh, the two options I currently have uh, are for people who either don't care too much about the mechanics behind sailing or just want to see exactly how things work because I don't really make any claims for my sailing scripts being 100% accurate. Uh, so the first of those options was a, a toggle to display multiple items. Um, like everything else, the, the actual UI of this is pretty, pretty basic, but uh, what it does is displays the current amount of wind force that's being applied to a given sail. Um, so the maximums of this are going to vary a lot by ship, but broadly speaking, um, uh, a Latin sail like this is going to be at its most efficient at around 45 degrees to the um, And these options will just allow you to see where you're, you're currently sitting and what kind of effect changing the position of a uh, sail or mast is going to have. Um, I've also made some visual changes. I've uh, added some thickness to the sails um, just to give them a bit more visual presence. Um, did that using a uh, modified tune shader actually. Uh, it's not perfect yet. You can see what's actually happening there, but uh, I, I didn't want to have to render all of these cloth particles twice, so it's just a just a vertex offset right now. Um, I made a couple of minor changes to the model of the caravel. Uh, I've added some ropes to the rigging to uh, to uh, make the controls for the sails. Another option I've added is a sort of automatic setting to the map. Uh, if you are a player who uh, doesn't feel like ever picking up the uh, quadrant or chronometer, uh, toggling that setting on will just automatically track your position on the map. Uh, for Gypsy Tinker, I've taken your suggestion and made some pretty big changes to the geometry of these rulers. Uh, now they uh, are hopefully a little bit more readable. Um, whichever setting you choose to use, uh, there's really <laughs> nothing added to this map yet, but uh, that will come in time. Um, see here, latitude and longitude are displayed in real time, as well as distance, and distance refers to how far you are from this map's prime meridian, which is the, uh, the port city, which is that way. Progress has also been continuing at a pretty steady pace on the Cintia. Um, you can see there's been quite a few additions to the, to the model, and I've started the frankly miserable process of unwrapping and baking in some textures for it. Definitely not the strongest set of my skills, but uh, that is what it is. Um, so this ship is going to be the largest ship, at least for what I intend to be available at launch. Um, it's about the same length as uh, Zebek, but in terms of volume, probably about three times the size. Uh, it will also have multiple interior decks um, and uh, a bit of a different steering setup. Get in the line there, there we go. 
Um, so still lots of work to go on this one, but uh, I'm relatively happy with the progress on the model so far. Uh, I haven't actually decided whether these gun ports are going to have cannons in them, but uh, that will be seen in time. But uh, in any event, there's not much to show with this other than the model, but uh, that is going to be it for this video. So I uh, appreciate the look.